Lloyd, Patrice Bernier back uh, for another year. I like this move quite a bit. And, and I think, to me, it's important that this season, I'd like to see Patrice learning on the job as possibly a coach down the road for the impact. Your thoughts? You know what, when David Beckham came in the league, um, you know, and I'm not comparing David Beckham to Patrice Bernier, but I'm just using an analogy. There's really, you wondered, was he worth what was first reported as $50 million a year? And I think at the end of the day, you know, where there's value on some athletes, uh, because that's, that's the nature of the business, you try to value athletes, um, there is really no price tag for a guy like David Beckham because really the sky is the limit because he does so much on and off the pitch. Patrice Bernier in Montreal is very much the same, but obviously to a far less extent than that of David Beckham. He represents a number of things, not just a, a, a player who's tactically intelligent in the middle of your pitch, and, and is always essential on any team, but a guy who off the field is, is, is a connection to the team with a number of the fans, a majority of the fans. And at Saputo Stadium, if there are 20,000 people there, I'm telling you there are probably 16,000, 17,000 French Canadians who make up the majority of the attendance in Montreal on any given day. And so there is a direct correlation with Patrice Bernier being a local boy, a French boy, a boy that came from the local scenes here in, in Quebec, uh, to, to, you know, to be turning out now as the captain of the team. So they had to re-sign him. Um, it, for me, it took too long. In their eyes, it was just, it's a pro process, but I think it's a little bit of a disrespectful process to me because he means so much to this club, a point which they reiterated over and over. But in the end, uh, better late than never, they did get it done today. And I don't know the numbers, but uh, I know he would not have budged because he wasn't backing down. I speak to Patrice on a regular basis and he wasn't going to back down because quite frankly he's valuable to the team both on and off the pitch. You're, you're bang on. I got to tell you Lloyd the last game of the season that Toronto FC played Montreal Impact uh, a year ago when it was Nesta's last game and he couldn't play it was cold. I was making my way up to the media press box and there was Patrice Bernier. He wasn't playing and Alessandro Nesta and a bunch of the young players that were up there and you could see Patrice holding court talking to the youngsters about whatever needed to be done in this game and possibly in the playoffs and they were all glued mesmerized and listening to Patrice even to Alessandro Nesta, but Patrice had a magic. He had a, a, a special something to him that these players really gravitated to. Because here's a guy that came from, really, where all these young players came from, which is just the local scenes around Quebec. And, and, I, and I speak to a lot of the young players as well, and basically the common, the common uh, message that these boys will portray to you is that when they look at Patrice, they look at a guy who came from the same place they did, and carved out a career for himself. He went to Europe, in his case, um, to carve out and, and continue his development where, you know, in, in the case of the academy boys, they have, they're fortunate enough to have fantastic academies around Canada these days. That's helping him nourish their skills. But Patrice, you know, had no choice, and he went away to do just that. But he's returned, returned on top of his game after he gained, you know, the vast experience that he did away. And, and, and he's, you know, he's such a notable figure now, not just in the city, but also in Major League Soccer. I mean, uh, we, we've all remembered what Thierry Henry just two years ago said about Patrice. And he does a lot of little things Patrice does on the pitch that kind of go unnoticed to the naked eye. You know, ball interceptions, uh, you know, you're breaking up plays and clogging lanes, uh, passing lanes of the opposition. He just does a lot of little things that, you know, guys like myself who, who watches the game with a studious eye will pick up and, and uh, if you're just kind of watching the ball float around, you'll miss the importance of Patrice on any given day. But I tell you what, uh, you know, I'm glad they re-signed it because it's the right thing to do. It was never a given um, because I know other teams are looking and monitoring the situation. It was good they protected him because if they did not, I'm telling you, he was gone. But in the end, it's all solved and, and, and he's back. And, and uh, according to them, well, it's a year and an option, so who knows? It looks like he'll end his career in Montreal, and rightfully so. 